Hello everyone and welcome to Python programming series part 9. In this session I will give you a practical demonstration on using Pandas Python library. For this demo I will be using JupyterLab so you can use any other Python programming interface. If you are using Google Colab then it comes with pre-installed Pandas library but in my case I have already installed Pandas. You can install pandas using pip command or uh, conda command. Uh, now the main uh, function of pandas is to analyze or manipulate the data or a data set and uh, so this is used when you are working on structured data like uh, .csv files and in my case I have uh, advertising data which is as shown here. So this is the advertising data and if you look at this, this has got 200 training examples that means 200 rows are there. Each row is a training example here and there are three features, the TV, radio, newspaper. So these are the you know uh, features of the exp expenditure on advertising for different um, media, TV, radio, newspaper and uh, the sales, this is the output variable or we call it as a label which is a continuous variable in this case. So this data set I will be using, there are three features and there is the output uh, variable which is a continuous variable. So let's come back to the notebook. So this is the notebook, I have already written the program here. And uh, the very first thing we are supposed to do is uh, we have to import the pandas library. So this is the command that we use, import pandas as pd, so pd is the name that we have given. And so now what we are supposed to do is we need to read this .csv file and that should be converted into what is called as pandas data frame. So once you have the data frame you will be able to easily analyze and uh, manipulate them. So this is the command from pandas that can be used for reading the CSV file and uh, so this is for excluding the first uh, column that is the index column and I call the data frame as data. It is saved in da data variable. Uh, there are some commands which I use. Now if you look at the second learning objective so I want to print the first five rows and the last five rows. As you have seen in the data set, it has got uh, 200 training examples or 200 rows. And I want to display the first five rows. So you can use a command called uh, data.head. Data is, uh, this is the name of the data frame corresponding to advertising.csv and head function can be used to get the first five rows. As you can see here, uh, first five rows of advertising data out of 200 are displayed here and there are three features and you know output columns, so four columns are displayed. So similarly, if you want to display the last uh, five rows, then you can use a function tail, data.tail can be used. Uh, we want to we want to get the statistical information about the data when you say statistical information like a mean standard deviation and what is the minimum value for each column so this we can get by using a function called describe so describe is a function which gives the statistical information about this data frame so I have uh, used this particular command and I have executed it and you can see that um, this displays the count that means you know it uh, shows how many uh, you know each column how many numbers are there like for example 200 in this case so 200 rather rows we have 200 values you have for TV and similarly for radio and uh, other features and output variable. Uh, the mean value for each column is displayed. If you're talking about a TV column, then the mean value or the average value is uh, 147. And similarly, it is displayed 
for other columns as well but right now we don't want to you know make use of this mean standard deviation so since this is just an introduction to pandas and uh, you know so we will do a minimal you know a, a minimal experiment on this so the here you just want to observe the statistical information all these are you know uh, ca can be obtained by describe function so this is the minimum value of each column for example tv there's a minimum value of 0 0.7 and similarly here 0 etc and this is 25 percent weightage and maximum value here so these are displayed and similarly you can also get uh, information about the data type for each of the columns like tv and uh, for tv and all of them you can see that it's a float uh, data type and 64 bit and usually what happens for in a bigger data set there will be some uh, cells will be having a non integer values not an integer we say any n or null values will be there so this clearly shows the number of null values which uh, which are present now in this case uh, as you know that uh, 200 uh, rows are there but all of them are non-null so there are no null values if a data set has a null value then we also have to you know uh, handle them we have to uh, you know some kind of uh, operation has to be done to remove null values but right now there are no null values uh, so you can also use a function call or columns to get um, all the columns in this case there are four columns as you know so TV radio newspaper sales so these are all the columns that uh, you we have so these are the you know also called the, the first three are the features then you have uh, output variable which is a label so we can display the shape of this data frame which has 200 rows and four columns uh, if you want to extract any of the column let us say I want to you know extract the first column corresponding to TV so I can use this particular command data which is the name of the data frame which has four columns and you can mention the uh, the feature name here and uh, you know then you can more than one feature and if you want to extract uh, these three columns and store it in X X, X, is, X indicates the features Y indicates a label so you can separate your data uh, frame into two different variables X corresponding to features and Y corresponding to the output variable and then you can print them you can see here so this displays the features there are three features here uh, 200 rows and three columns and similarly so this will be y which has 200 rows and one column so you can print them so now uh, this is just an introduction to pandas so i will not go beyond this but using pandas the lot of other things you can do uh, as we know that the performance of machine learning library so the machine learning model depends on the quality of data and also you you know in the most of the cases when you receive the raw data you cannot directly uh, feed it to the machine learning model you can't use it for training you will have to perform some kind of transformation and uh, if the data that you're talking about is uh, a tabular data or the structured data like this then the pandas can be used so pandas can be used to perform various other tasks which we have not discussed we will have a separate you know session on session on exploratory data analysis where pandas will be very much useful so in this session this is all i will wind up here so we'll uh, meet during the next session thank you so much